Hey everybody, this is Solo, aka The Vegan Soul, and I am here to finally introduce my YouTube channel for all of your vegan eats, all of your vegan recipes that you need, all of your vegan tips, healthy tips, detox tips. You're in the right place. So one question that I get a lot is, why did you become vegan? What made you want to become vegan? What made you want to give up meat? Well, I actually just wanted to, you know, just practice what I preach and just, you know, start breaking those generational curses of the foods that actually are harming us and putting us in these hospitals and making us sick and uncomfortable when we get older, as opposed to living full, vivacious, great lovely lives you know we just start to deteriorate so soon and i just wanted to reverse that and i just wanted to learn more about it so i can teach my kids so i can teach my family my mom everybody i feel like in my family could benefit from this and anybody's family can benefit from this so i became vegan for knowledge for health reasons you know, some people become it for the animals um i do think that what people do to the animals is very wrong but that wasn't my general reason my top reason it was for health and for my family and just for happiness inside and out so i've been vegan for about a year now um and it's been a journey when i first started out i was sick because i wasn't eating enough i was losing a lot of weight and i was just wondering why i wasn't feeling the way i should have been feeling and i just had to learn that when you do eliminate those fatty foods fatty foods sit on your stomach quicker and they sit heavier than plants so you have to eat more of it to feel that satisfaction and to feel full if you want to gain weight you have to eat more protein so i'll definitely be answering more questions throughout this journey throughout this channel but what i want to do now is get into the nitty-gritty of why everybody's here what you saw in the title of this video is vegan crab cakes that's what we're making today um i've tried this a couple of times um but it's just been trial and error there have just been some things that i've been missing some important ingredients or just important steps so I'm just going to include all of those and I am trying this new recipe out myself. Um, I'm just going off the top of my head of how I think a regular crab cake would be made. That's how I'm gonna do this one. So yeah, I'm just excited to get into this and try it with you guys. I love to be authentic like that and have a natural reaction when I'm done with food and trying it to show you guys. Let's get into it. So, what we have here is heart of palm. We're gonna use heart of palm and we're going to use chickpeas and lentils as well to get this whole crab cake together, okay? The first thing we're going to do is break up our heart of palm with our hands so it can have a crab texture, like that shredded crab meat-like look. And taste of course and texture as well. Okay, so this is what it looks like when it's all broken up. Very important step, this next one, right? See this? This is seaweed sheets. So I'm going to take a sheet, well, I thought I didn't whole sheet. Take half a sheet. And what I'm just gonna do is break it up into small pieces and add it and mix that all in together. So next step of what we're going to do is we're going to take what we made up and we're going to add it to a pan with very, very light oil. Grapeseed oil is what I use. I'm just gonna add that. So 
So next what you're gonna do is turn off your fire. You're gonna let that saute for about two minutes. You're gonna let that saute for about two minutes. And you're gonna take it out and add it back to our mixing bowl. And let it cool off. Please don't try to mix anything else while it's still hot. Don't do it. So next, while that's cooling, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix this up, well mash this up, I should say, just like I did the heart of palm, so it can have that texture. Next, what we're gonna do is add this to our crab cake, well, our crab mix, crab meat. The quality. Okay, so now for our seasonings, what we're going to do, so what we're gonna use is, I don't measure, I'm just gonna say that right now. Um, I just go off of what I think is right. You know how black people season stuff until the ancestors tell us to stop. That's what I'm gonna do. So first what we have is Cajun seasoning, Louisiana. Then I have Tony's Creole seasoning, onion powder, garlic powder. You know, we gotta have our old bag. I'm also gonna use some all-purpose seasoning. And last but not least, oh, not last but not least, almost last but not least, black pepper, sea salt. It's a lot healthier than regular table salt and all that good stuff. Himalayan pink salt is good too, but we have sea salt. Now we're gonna mix it up, mix it up. So for the fun part, what I'm gonna add now is a little over a tablespoon of chopped red pepper, red bell pepper. I'm gonna use some relish. I'm gonna use about, for now, two tablespoons. And we have veganese, mayonnaise, vegan mayonnaise. Bye, follow your heart. Bye. I just added a tablespoon. I'll probably have to add a little bit more. Another thing I'm gonna do is just add some flour and breadcrumbs. Three tablespoons of that mixture. It was already mixed in. I had that is some organic breadcrumbs and also some regular wheat flour. It's not enriched or bleached or anything. It's just wheat flour. Now we can form our patties. Oops. I'm so excited. So what I'm gonna do now is add these formed patties to a plate. I just put some wax paper on the plate. I'm just gonna put those in the freezer and we'll be back to make our coleslaw my version of cold slow. Okay, so next, as you can see, I have my green cabbage and a little bit of purple cabbage as well that I'm going to slice up. And I also have my grater for my carrot. So what we're gonna do first is slice our cabbage really thin. our cabbage and then we're just going to put this in a bowl and I'm grate my carrots. Alright, so now as you see we have our green cabbage, purple cabbage, and our carrots. Nice and colorful and beautiful. We're just gonna mix that up. I want to add some, now I'm gonna do this first. I'm gonna add some Cajun seasoning. A little bit. A 
and some honey, raw honey. Toss that, I'm gonna act like I don't know how to hold a dagger. Okay, so this next part is my favorite part. What we're going to do now is start frying up our crab cakes. I took them out of the freezer. This is what they look like, nice and firm. So, for my breading, what I have is um, the wheat flour, um, the organic breadcrumbs that I told you that I have, and I also have all the seasonings that I use, the Cajun seasoning, Creole, black pepper, Old Bay, all-purpose seasoning, onion powder, and garlic powder, all in this mix. Oh, get that ready. Now what I'm going to do is dip my patties, put them in the fryer. It smells really good, y'all. Ooh, that one's ready to turn. Beautiful. I'm gonna come back to you guys when I make my plate. You can see how pretty it is. I'm sure you don't wanna watch me fry these the whole time. Um, so yeah, I'll be back. Or I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I couldn't even wait to tell y'all. Look at that. Like, come I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait, but come on, like, are you kidding me? Okay, so I lied last time when I said that the other part was my favorite part, because my favorite part now is coming up, which is the taste test. So, well, the plating and the taste test. So what I'm gonna do is I have my nice plate. I'm just gonna add some slaw. Is my Cajun honey slow for my cake? Or do you see that? I gotta get y'all closer, closer. So I usually, you know, dress my crab cakes and like hot sauce and ketchup or whatever, but I want to try it first without any of it, just to make sure it's amazing by itself. So, here we go. I'm actually confident in this because it's not really good. Slide one. Let's see. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's it. That's it, man. With that slow, it's just so light but filling. Are you scared about all your food? Because it is, it's light but filling. <laughs> Please try this recipe. I know I say that all the time, but we have a video now talking you through it. It'll be good. Hold on, let me give you all this one last close up. So now since I know it's amazing, I feel safe enough to add my... I definitely recommend trying this. I'll be back with more. Make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe, all of that everything because there's gonna be more to come and like i said like you gotta have fun with it you gotta have fun with this vegan stuff it doesn't have to be cardboard and grass because it's not trust me i'll be eating i'll be eating okay. See ya.